Hello and welcome to our next video on the Noita biomes. This video is about the snowy depths. This biome is one that I personally am not a big fan of. Right away when you get in here you've got to be careful because you're going to have monsters just jumping all over you. What kind of monsters you ask? Well I'm glad you did. We've got shotgunners and rats and slime shooters which make the return from the coal pits. We have uh, grenadiers and gunners and the executive which drops others low level he see when you kill him we have the sniper fear the red beam if you see it run away the snow spirit shooting freeze bombs and the lightning or thunder spirit shooting electricity we have the rock giant which shoots little rocks that kind of aim at you and freeze you and blow you up we've got the tank Beware the tank, very dangerous enemies, in fact. And of course, we also have Uko. Uko is the most feared one, shoots the big thunder bombs that can blow you up, and we really hate Uko. Avoid Uko like the plague. Out of all those enemies, you really need to be aware of the tank, which you can kind of see me fighting this tank up here. It's going to take me a little while to take him out. He's very dangerous. He shoots that rapid fire machine gun sort of pulse at you. Very difficult, takes a lot of damage to take him down if you've only got a low-level wand. I usually like to drill up beneath them and try to blow them up from a distance away or find some cover like I do here and try to shoot at them. Ooh, ooh slime shooter. So they are very difficult to deal with. The other one is the Uko. The Uko is, is just, a like I said, an absolute nightmare with the Thunder Bomb because the Thunder Bomb will paralyze you, freeze you for six seconds. They can almost stun lock you. And just damage you to death. If you see an Uko and you get hit by an Uko, you're likely going to be killed in this area. Uh, also, the rock giant really isn't that big of a deal. The little floaty rocks that sort of home in on you aren't that bad to handle because they go slow enough and they kind of waver up and down. You can deal with those. The executive, that's kind of a different story. Sometimes if you're far enough away or if you have something that you can throw at them like dynamite or whatever, if you can collapse some physical structure on them. It will kill them and kill the horde that they drop afterwards. Because remember, they're spawning low-level Heesey the entire time. And when you kill them, they spawn about, I think it's like six to eight low-level Heesey that you then have to deal with after that. So essentially, Snowy Depths to me is one of the most difficult biomes to deal with because you don't have a lot of powerful things at this point. You have two perks at that point, maybe a halfway decent one. Maybe you have Teleport, maybe you have Dig. Um, but there's not much in here that's going to improve your situation. The wand level isn't that much better than coal pits. And the rewards that are here and the gold that uh, can be made here is a lot less than coal pits. So if you're looking to kind of pile up the gold and get a few extra wands, my recommendation is if you can stay in coal pits or go back to coal pits, that's where you want to be. I would even say that Snowy Depths equals Fungal Caverns as far as trying to get through it because Snowy Depths will tick your damage down over a period of time constantly until you're finally just out of, out of health, but can also one or two shot you. Whereas Fungal Caverns will definitely one or two shot you if you're not extremely careful. It will also tick down your health like Snowy Caverns does. But the main difference is that Fungal Caverns is going to have a much better selection of wands and potions for you in a more concentrated area. I find Snowy Caverns to be one of the most difficult and also kind of, I feel, almost a, a useless biome at this point. Just too risky. I try to avoid it altogether. So if you can sort of dig around it, dig straight through down to the bottom, or if you've got teleport or invisibility, it's my recommendation that you kind of skip out on this. But if you don't, what are we going to see here? Well, let's speed up a little bit so I can show you some of the features. And yes, the fight with the tank, I cut out about 10 minutes of it. Here is the result where I finally decide I'm going to use the, uh, the plasma cross against it and just get rid of it. So what I wanted to talk about with the snowy depths, first of all, was we have a few puzzles that you'll run into. One is the eye puzzle. You'll find a, a set of brickwork that has almost like a little teleport eye, hint, hint, in the middle of it that you can fill with something to open up a secret portal to the wand chamber. Oh, we've got an executive over here. So let me just show you what the executive does. Uh, let me see if I can get him from far away. If I'm not, I'm going to plasma cross him right across his face. If we can't take him down with normal fire. But let's see if we can get him before we have to switch wands here. While we're sorting that out, there's the eye puzzle, which, like I said, has an eye shape in it in the brickwork that you can fill with something. You can figure it out. There's also a capsule puzzle that you can do, which you can also figure figure out that you've got to fill with something else, which will 
spawn a wand for you that is a relatively powerful wand. So there's that. If you can't find the eye puzzle because it doesn't always give you the eye puzzle, sometimes you actually will have to go all the way over to the shaft, which we're doing right now. All the way to the right hand side is a hallway that will lead you to the shaft. The hallway is free of enemies, by the way, which is nice. So it's a good place to go and hide out if you need a little bit of a break. So you get to that hallway, go all the way down to the shaft, and we're going to dig straight down to that wand chamber once we get there so that you can see that. You don't need the eye puzzle to do that. You do un unfortunately need the capsule puzzle to get the special wand to spawn, and that I very rarely ever see that capsule puzzle pop up. There's also a lot of structures that resemble the Hisi base in here, some of them which contain wands or rewards in them. One of them is the electrocution trap, which you have to figure out how to get around. I don't want to give too many spoilers as far as those go. I want you to kind of figure those out for yourself. If you, I mean, they're obviously very easy to research on your own. This is more about just introducing you to the biome. So there is a, a little trap that has an electrocution aspect to it. You'll recognize it when you see it because there's a wand inside of a box. You got to find a way to get that wand out. Or you, well, you don't have to, but that's kind of the point of it is to get the wand out. Oh, we've got another executive here. Let's deal with him. Toot sweet. Then we can continue on our way. See, watch him drop all those guys, but I had that plasma cross, so they all die. Anyway, as I've shown in previous videos, if we go all the way over to the right, let me just finish this off, grab this gold. If we go all the way over to the right where the shaft is, that can bring you back up to the bridge, which if you go left of the bridge, you're going to go back to uh, the mines. If you go to the right of the bridge, you go to the area where the wand connoisseur is. Not recommended at this point. Uh, we do not have Bridge Boss Cheese anymore. But if you go all the way over to the right where these little islands are, you find the wall and you dig straight down. And through the magic of Hollywood, I now have a wand that will allow me to do that to demonstrate. If you dig straight down from just where that wall is, you will enter into a chamber that's going to have two wands in it. They're not spectacular wands, but they are better than what you're going to find probably in Snowy Depths. So it always does pay if you can dig here to go ahead and come and take a look. I checked the two wands. They were garbage in this instance, unfortunately. So then you can also dig straight across and that's gonna bring you back to snowy depths without some of the danger. And then you can dig straight down and get yourself into the end of snowy depths. But for us, our journey continues on. So let's, let's take that magical trip through the magic of editing again and go back. And just so you can see, this shaft does in fact go all the way up to the bridge. The right side's the easiest way to get up there if you have to. And then you can float across to the other side. The shaft comes up to where the bridge is at and goes back to the lava pit, which is over there. And you can head back down anytime that you want, nice and easy, and then head your way back into snowy depths. Or you can go back and do the loop again. Do mines again, grab any wands you missed, any hearts you missed. Go back to coal mines, grab some more gold, or go to the fungal cavern, look for some wands or some ambrosia or any potions that you need. So it's a very valuable way to go back and redo the loop if you have to. Okay, let's speed up again and go all the way to the other side so I can show you what's on the other side of the snowy caverns. You can see there's a lot of combat that's got to take place going on in here and a lot of dangerous guys that you got to deal with. So... Be prepared for a fight. You're going to have a lot of combat going on in here. And like I said, the rewards are not super great. Although you'll see, I do find a lot of wands. I didn't find any that, well, I found a few that, that kind of helped a little bit. But I'd much rather be grabbing wands from Hisi Base or even from Jungle. Jungle has some really spectacular wands. Uh, one other thing that I did want to show you is we are going to come up to one of those electrical puzzles. So you can see exactly how they're set up. Well, not exactly. This one is a little bit messed up. It has, uh, oh, there was an Uko there. Whoa, well, we should have probably shown you that. Now, you know what? Let's not reward Uko for bad behavior. No extra screen time for you, Uko. You're just gonna go right back in the box. There, I finally have my revenge on you, ha ha ha. So the electric puzzle, the electricity puzzle, the electrocution trap, whatever you wanna call it, is gonna be over here to the left. Hold on, I got somebody trying to hit me. If you look, Normally, the way that it's set up, this box that you see underneath me here is usually to the left of this container. And there's a certain way that you can get into that container to get the wand out of it. You have to either have a way to dig into the container through solid materials. So the same stuff you would use for brickwork or for EDR will get you in there. There's 
ways that you can get in. So you, you just kind of have to play around and figure it out for yourself. Like I said, that box will be on the other side, the left side. So that kind of gives you a hint. Just make sure that you look at the whole box. If you can dig underneath it and take a look at the bottom of the box as well, that might also inspire you to greatness as far as that goes. All right. So that is the puzzle that I wanted to show you. If we continue on over to the left, killing things merrily as we go, as always, then we will get to the part of, yeah, here it is, the EDR. And if we go, I think it's up. No, 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 up. Calm, calm, go up. You need, you need to go up. It's, it's not down here. That's the holy mountain. You know that's the holy mountain. Where are you going? Give me a second. I, I figure it out in a minute here. Yeah, up, uh, buddy. There's uh, an extremely dangerous biome to the left. I'm only going to take you to the very edge of it. I don't feel like taking my character in there and ruining this run because I'd like to kind of finish this run if it's entirely possible. But anyway, I'm just going to show you the very bottom. You'll be able to see the brickwork in there. That's filled with a bunch of stuff that you just do not want to encounter. That's not one that you can sneak in and out of very easily. You're not going to be able to cheese your way in and out unless you got invisibility. Even then, I'd be extremely careful what you do as far as going in that area. It's not an area for you. All right, that wraps it up for the snowy depths. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Of course, if you have any comments or questions or whatever, put them in the comments section and I will try to answer or at least comment back. Remember, this is a very basic guide. Don't try to like, we're not trying to give spoilers or anything like that. We're just kind of give people a general overview. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And YouTube, you're up.